Steve Levitin announced he would no longer be renewing a tenth season of Modern Family with 20th Century Fox after Laura Ingraham's controversial comment Monday about immigration detention centers. The Fox News host had been discussing President Trump's policy to separate immigrant children from their parents when she described the detention centers as essentially summer camps. Ingraham said during her segment on the Ingraham angle, as more illegal immigrants are rushing the border, more kids are being separated from their parents. And temporarily housed at what are, essentially, summer camps. The Modern Family co-creator and executive producer took to social media Tuesday to confirm he would be cutting ties with the broadcasting company. I look forward to seeing number Modern Family through to the end and then, sale or no sale, setting up shop elsewhere," Levitin wrote on Twitter. The comedy producer's agent, Jay Shores, however released a statement on behalf of Levitin, in which he backtracked his furious remarks later Tuesday. The statement, seen on Deadline, said, I have great respect and admiration for Dana Walden, Gary Newman, Peter Rice and everyone at 20th Century Fox TV studio who have all treated me so well for almost two decades," Shore said. For now, I will take some time to see where these people land, and at that point I will make a decision about my future. Over the weekend, Levitin retweeted a post by executive producer of Fox shows Orville and Family Guy, Seth MacFarlane. In the tweets, the pair slammed the network and expressed their embarrassment over recent irresponsible remarks made on air. Let me officially join at Seth MacFarlane in saying I'm disgusted to work at a company that has anything whatsoever to do with at Fox News, Levitin wrote Monday. This bull's tea is the opposite of what number modern family stands for. He also said in part, conspiracy theories and Trump's lies gets harder to swallow every day as I drive onto that lot to make a show about inclusion. McFarlane had slammed Fox News political commentator Tucker Carlson Saturday over his statement to viewers about Fox News rivals. Tucker said, if you're looking to understand what's actually happening in this country, always assume the opposite of whatever they're telling you on the big news stations. McFarlane tweeted in response, in other words, don't think critically, don't consult multiple news sources, and in general, don't use your brain. Just blindly obey Fox News. This is fringe shit, and it's business like this that makes me embarrassed to work for this company. Levitin also followed up with more tweets one in which he criticized conservative commentator and Coulter for her remark that said migrant kids are child actors. He wrote, this folks is the face of pure evil. On Monday, Ingraham's words horrified many after pictures were released on air showing immigrant children lined up in a series of cages created by metal fencing at the centers. Ingraham afterward tried to retract the statements toward the end of the show, responding to the backlash on social in real time. Apparently there are a lot of people very upset because we referred to some of the detention facilities tonight as essentially like summer camps, Ingraham said. The San Diego Union Tribune today described the facilities as essentially like what you would expect at a boarding school. So I will stick to there are some of them like boarding schools. The San Diego Union Tribune article states that the facilities seem like what one would expect from a boarding school with classrooms, a play area with soccer goals, and a medical clinic with superheroes like Wonder Woman, Superman and the Hulk on the walls. The story goes on to state, though that on closer inspection, details about the California licensed child care facility run by Southwest Key Programs reflect the situation of the children it serves, noting the fencing that is backed by privacy netting and a sign noting that the facility is under video surveillance 24 hours per day. Kate Morrissey, the author of the story, did not personally comment on Ingraham's comment but did retweet two people who said the Fox News host misrepresented the piece. It only took a quick Google search to debunk at Laura Ingraham on the at Stud story that she says called detention center like summer camp. At Educate was saying, that looks were deceiving, wrote Jeremy Borden in a post that was retweeted by Morrissey. She also retweeted Stephen Singer, who wrote, she also incorrectly says the San Diego Union Tribune compared it to a boarding school. 
might want to read the entire news story beyond the lead. After the Tribune comment, Ingraham made an abrupt shift and began to speak about adoption. And I suggest that a lot of the folks who are worried about that spend more time in Central America. I have. And we should make adoption easier for American couples who want to adopt these kids who are true candidates for adoption because our policies don't allow that," she said. So let's put our hearts out there for the kids in the right way. Take care of them the right way. Open your hearts and your homes to them. One particular photo showed 20 children lying on dark green mats inside a cage, only covered by thin emergency space blankets. Another shows children in a single file line sitting next to one another. Laura Ingraham, like Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, would happily defend genocide if the Trump administration asked them to do so, he wrote. Author Anthony Bresnikan joked, Laura Ingraham isn't going to hell. She's going to an intense sauna. Other commenters expressed confusion at Ingraham's vision about summer camps. Dada, yes, who else remembers singing come was roasting marshmallows, cage living, and a friendly game of let's never see your mommy and daddy again, Danny Derany wrote. Another joked about what a summer camp would look like if it was run by Ingraham. Your child will learn how to properly fold a foil emergency blanket and how to decorate the inside of a cage, J.D. Durkin quipped. Sign up now for a special lesson in basketball dribbling and mocking school shooting survivors. Act fast, he added, quoting Ingraham's recent controversies with Hogg and NBA star Lebron James. Share this article Share others called on the public to boycott Ingraham, while some challenged the Fox News host to send her own children to the detention centers. Great at Ingraham angle sounds like a fun summer plan for your kids. Send them down to the detention camps maybe one of those fancy tents and you can just stay home and work," wrote Amy Siskind. In May, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced a zero-tolerance policy in which all those apprehended entering the U.S. illegally, including those seeking asylum, would be criminally charged, which generally leads to children being separated from their parents. On Friday, it was revealed that nearly 2,000 children were separated from adults at the border between mid-April and the end of May. Those children are now living in detention centers along the U.S.-Mexico border 